Today I want to show you our new CL1918 trainer. And so many schools have these trainers because they work amazingly at teaching students lighting systems. And it's student-led learning. So it's very much an interactive exploratory uh, product that allows the students to go through the lighting system and test out different signals, different circuits, you know, do different hypotheses and try and create their own circuits and eventually, hopefully, learn how the entire lighting system from a car works. In this new version, we've pretty much changed everything. So we surveyed a whole bunch of customers and we asked some questions about things they would like to change and we've incorporated almost everything. So we've now got more components that are more modern. We've, we've upgraded all of the switch gear to more modern components. We've got LEDs instead of just incandescents. So we've got a mix of LEDs and incandescents. We've now got four relays on the product, including a front mounted micro relay that you can even plug your tester into. So we've made all kinds of changes to make this product better and easier for you in a classroom. Now what we see here is the trainer fully wired. Now this is as if your student has completed their course uh, they've mastered all the different circuits and they've got the entire system wired up. And there's multiple different configurations for wiring it. Uh, you can notice because I don't have all the relays in use right now. So you can wire it up, power side switch, ground side switch, with relay, without a relay. There are all kinds of different choices in the configuration. So if I turn on the hazard lights, they work. Uh, we need to use the ignition key for things like uh, the turn signals. Turn signals don't work until the ignition key is on. We've got our park lights, our headlights, we've got a horn, we've got our backup lights, our brake lights. So we've got a fully functional system of everything that you would find on the car. And then as an instructor, what you can do is take your little key, get into the fault box, and we can turn on different faults in the system. And then if we turn the key to the other position, now students don't know what faults are in there, then they can't have access, none of the switches work. So we can do that for 12 different circuits in the system, and they're very interesting faults, very real world. We've removed all the wiring from the trainer, so we, now we can see a little bit more of the details, and I wanna talk about some of those details because the trainer is made of three different components. So we've got the headlights, and uh, all the front lights up here, the rear lights down here, and then kind of all the switch gear. And these can all be removed and reconfigured, okay? Because these frames, these stands are universal to Consolab products, to any of the 1918 series, and even to the smaller Mod Ponus, there can be rails added where these holes are here to have Mod Ponus like our MD4000 series or other uh, products. So very, very upgradable, very modular. So you can put the tail lights up top and the headlights down below if you're tired of having the lights in your eyes. Another thing that we've done is that all the components on here have got protection. So we could wire up the power supply, power and ground to almost anything on here and try and let the magic smoke out and we won't be able to. The power supply is very, very robust, uh, very well protected, as well as all the components. We, when we were testing this, we found that one of the components here um, if we weren't careful, we could let the magic smoke out. So we put in a breaker so that even if your students make a uh, mistake, um, well, they'll just pop the breaker and you'll be able to walk up and reset it. Now you'll notice another thing with this product that we haven't seen before is test points. All right, we've added test points at multiple locations in the different circuits uh, that allow us to take a multimeter, the one I've got over here. So take a multimeter and go in and measure directly at these test points rather than measuring directly at the four millimeter banana plugs. And this allows us uh, to insert faults and have faults that the students can find. So if there was a high resistance, let's say in a headlight on the common side, well, you'd be able to find the voltage drop between these two terminals. Now this product is available single-sided, as you see here, and also double-sided. So each side, each workstation, uh, typically we have one or two students uh, working on that at a time. So you could have up to four students on the same trainer. Now in this case, on the other side, I've got a different product. I've actually got our Multiplex trainer. So we've got the CL1918 that we're talking about. We've also got the MP1918, which is Multiplex. We've got a heavy truck version uh, for truck lighting systems. 
We've also got one for motorcycles. Now, each of those products you can find out more about um, on the website. But it gives you the idea that you can have different versions of lighting systems or different products on the same racking. Now, we've also got a wall mount version and tabletop version uh, of a stand for this product. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in setting up your labs. 1918 series products are made for student-led learning. And what we mean by this is that it's really the student that is interacting with the product. You're going to have uh, example curriculum, exercises, schematics, instructions. And then it's really going to be the student that's going to end up wiring up the different components. So even bringing up power and ground from the power supply, one of the very first steps, is going to be done by the student. Okay? And I mean, right off the bat, if they want, they can start arcing and sparking and making mistakes with the system, but it's all protected. So they bring up power and ground to the, from the power supply up to the panel. And then let's say we're just doing some exploratory learning. We can do something simple with one switch, one light bulb. We'll go through a fuse. We're going to pick a switch. We'll use the horn switch. We're going to go from the horn switch to a light bulb. We're going to go from the light bulb to ground. And theoretically, if we haven't made any mistakes, it should work can be something as simple, a circuit as simple as that, or as complicated as, you know, using multiple relays with multiple flashers and ignition switch and other switches to control five different light bulbs to make it flash like a cop car. And it could be the exercises and tests that we have set forth in, in the curriculum or something that your students made up or that you made up all on your own. The goal is very much to let them explore and let them make mistakes, learn from it, record their measurements and start to understand how the system works. One of the things that I've always found the most interesting about these products is when we're at a trade show or we're at a school and you have a little bit of time to spend with some students and you see as they're working with it, they're building up a little bit of courage, they're building up a little bit of pride, some understanding and at the end of the day you end up with these students that have built something, that have made a circuit work. And that pride and that feeling of accomplishment is something that you know that they're going to keep for a long time. These products are made for that. They're made to help your students want to learn. We want your students to walk up to this and go, wow, that looks really complicated. I bet you I can figure it out. And to spend time with it, to play with it. And at the end of the day, to really get it and be able to transfer that to the real vehicle. That's the goal. So if you're interested in finding out more about these products, uh, you can find us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, or you can visit our website, constlab.com. Thanks for watching.